Hello, Greg from Balloon Market here, and welcome to BMTV, the first one of 2021. Well, I hope you're well. I hope you had a good Christmas, a good New Year. You had a bit of a break, a bit of a, uh, a calm down for a minute or two, um, and you're, you're back raring to go for 2021. Now, normally at this time of year, I, I do, like I said last week, I do talk about setting goals and stuff, but I'm not going to talk about specifically how to do that this year, but we will put the links down below to previous shows if you're watching on YouTube, we'll, we've got the shows that we did with Kevin Stansfield, our business coach, and a couple of previous first shows of the year that we've talked about goals. Go and have a look at that. It's really important. The key thing I would say is make sure you write your goals down. But I thought what I would do is talk specifically about some goals that you might actually want to put onto your list. Now, these are really more on the business side uh, and really for people that are, are wanting to, to grow their business and to make their business, you know, if, you, if you're aiming to make your business grow for it to support you, support your family, etc., then these are all things that you might want to consider. The first one is for everybody, really, um, and that is review your pricing. We have had prices go up. BOC have just put their prices up, so our prices have gone up with, with for the helium as well. Um, and it does mean, I, annually, we normally get manufacturer price increases as well in January, so they go up. It's really important that you review your prices at least once a year to make sure you are actually making money. I've talked about it before, but have a look at our show. Again, we'll put the link down below that we did with Mark Drury from Qualitex, and he talks about pricing, and you can download our interactive pricing tool, which is a very clever spreadsheet that just does it all for you. So yeah, we'll put the link down below for that. But it's really important because once or twice you might absorb a price increase and before you know it, you've absorbed two or three price increases and you're actually not making the money because you feel you can't go above a certain price um, for a product because that's what you've got in your head. It's really important to review your prices every single year, at least, as I say, at least once a year. I'd say probably at least twice, actually. So um, yes, that could be goal number one, review your pricing. It's one of those things that nobody really likes doing. It's like, oh, I'll get around to it. I'll get around to it. But that could be number one. Number two, something that I think a lot of people have done already in the last 10, 12 months is do something different. Um, we have learned how to pivot is the word that's been used. We've learned how to change. We've learned how to tweak what we do. And we've learned how to add things in. So balloon decorators have gone very much from obviously doing big venues and big decorating jobs to deliveries. And not just normal deliveries like here's your number five balloon, but doing the big marquee designs and things like that. And can you do anything further with the marquee designs? Can you add to that? Just adapting and changing. I have talked to people before that have said, oh, that wouldn't work in my area when talking about, you know, arches or demi arches, organic arches. And said, have you tried? Well, no, um, you don't know until you've tried, but try something different. I'll tell you a story about how we, um, when we started 16 years ago, we just did balloon in a box. It was my wife doing balloon in a box at home. And then one day she got a phone call and it's like, hi, can you print 5,000 balloons for us? And we didn't know anything about printing. We were just buying the balloons like this and putting them in boxes and, and sending them off. And of course, because we knew nothing about it, we didn't know anybody that, that could do the printing, didn't know how it worked or anything about logos or artwork. Of course, Rachel's response was, absolutely, yes, we can do that. And put the phone down and then just panicked and tried to find out how, how you do balloon printing. And what happened, I, I then joined the business a few months later because I was made redundant and um, I focused on the printing side of the business and it ended up becoming the main part of the business. And a few years later, we actually got rid of the balloon in a box. So we didn't see that coming and opportunities might come your way where you are able to do something different. But uh, if they don't, just think about what else can you do? It might be something that you can add to your existing service that people have been asking you for. But that, that is a second goal. Try and do something additional or something different um, in your business and you, you might open a whole other market. Now, the next two, are definitely if you're taking your business seriously. So I know a lot of people are doing it for different reasons. You might just enjoy the creativity of it, doing it for friends, doing it for family, um, doing it for a bit of extra cash. You're not trying to make loads of money and, and for it to support you. But for those of you that really are wanting to do it seriously, the next two are, are definitely for you. And the first is build a website. If you've not built a website, have a website. It's fine having Instagram, it's fine having a Facebook page, and yes, people will go there, but the website, you are in complete control of the website. Nobody else is, nobody else can comment unless you want them to comment. 
it is entirely your world to sell your service and yourself. Um, so recommend it. I have to say personally, before I use any service or buy from anybody, I always go and look for a website. And that includes, believe it or not, window cleaners. So there's window cleaners around here that have their website. And all it is, is um, one or two pages, contact us page, a picture of them cleaning some windows and you know a paragraph or two, and that's all it is. Now you might think websites really difficult to do. You need lots of skills and all of that. You don't. Eilis that works in customer service, she has her own business on the side and she does um, animal massage. And she is studying as well at the moment in animal, what's that, animal manipulation. So she's gonna get a master's in that and then gonna be able to add the chiropractic side of things to her services. And having a website has been on her to-do list for a while. And then the day before we came back, she said she was going to do some studying and then said, no, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do a website. No technical skills at all. She said she's really bad with technology. Six hours later, she had fully built her website using WordPress. It cost about £100 a year for WordPress and the package that she's got. And WordPress was designed to be a blog platform. And then it's just developed over time. People are using it for e-commerce and all sorts of other things. But six hours later, she had a website. So it was just starting, just getting it done. It's got a little bit about her. It's got a little bit of her pictures of her doing um, what she does and the horses and, uh, and dogs, etc. And it's got a contact us page. And that's all it is. It's just a few pages. I think it's four or five pages. And um, that's all it is. And for the services that you might be offering as a balloon decorator, that might be all you need, but it's about your brand. It's about you. It's about getting people to trust you. And you can do that from, from a website. You might want to add an e-commerce module onto that uh, at some later point and then actually sell online. But initially for a hundred pounds a year to have a website up and running, I think is fantastic. You would need to buy a URL as well. We use one, two, three reg. You can just go there and just find if your name that you want to call your business is available and just buy it there and then. And that can be 20 pounds a year. Sometimes it can be the first year for 99p. So um, yeah, have a look at that. But yes, if you want your business to be taken seriously, then build a website. Link all your social media to it and everything, but it's very important to have a website. And the last possible goal that you might want to, to add to your list is um, look at an accounts package. Um, you might think, oh, I'm, I'm too small to have an accounts package, a spreadsheet will do. And it does initially. What I recommend you try and do is to always try and think a year or two ahead. So what will you need? If you're doing one order a week, you definitely don't need an accounts package, but two years ahead, if you anticipate doing 30 orders a week, you're probably going to want to manage that, that financial information in some way. We use a company called Xero. Uh, they're entirely online. We used to use Sage. Sage was absolutely terrible. My wife, Rachel, did a 16-week course to um, learn how to do it. And that's because it was built for accountants. Zero with an X is built for business people, people that don't want to get into the whole accountancy side of things, don't understand it, don't need to understand it because you've got an accountant. Um, so we love it. There's also ones like um, QuickBooks and I think there's others out there. Do your research, but they cost, I think Zero starts at about £10 a month, um, but there's some that are cheaper. I think even Sage are doing an online version now and that might be five pounds or something like that a month. I don't know what the functionality is like. I can't recommend it, but I can definitely recommend zero. And it just means when you do grow to be that 30 orders a, a week uh, company, then you, you're already set up. You know about accounts, you know what you're doing, and it just gives you a view of exactly where you're at at any time. So yeah, highly recommend it, but it is designed for people like you and I, people that are in business, not for the accountants. So yeah, that is my, my fourth suggestion as a goal, set up an accounts package and be ready to grow with that. So obviously you can have any other goals and I'm sure you've got some big goals. I'd be interested to hear what those goals are, but they're just four things that I thought might be um, options for you. Right, COVID. Uh, yes, we're filming on the Tuesday. Prime Minister made his announcement on Monday evening. We are now officially as a country here in England on, on lockdown again. So 
Um, it does mean, I suspect, we are going to get busy because I suspect everybody out there is going to get busy. With the shops shut, the retail, the big retailers shut, um, I think people discover the, the joys of the balloon decorating community and everybody does get busy. It did get busy last night. I noticed on the website, as soon as the PM's announcement was over, I went on the website, checked how many people were on there, and it's three times the number of people that's normally on there. So um, yes, it is gonna get very busy for us. So unfortunately, I'll have to pre-warn you, there are gonna be delays in sending orders out. It sort of takes us back to the situation that we were in before. And um, we just can't have any more people physically safely in the warehouse. So we have started the evening shift again and we are, we are working through that. We will continue to update every single day as to where we're at. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it's not going to get to five or six day delays as we had in the first lockdown back in, in April. Um, because we've got more people, we've got procedures in place, etc. But um, we will update that every single day. But it has has just instantly gone gone crazy again. So one thing to do is to keep a, an eye on the the banner on the website, the the coronavirus and delivery page. Just click on that, and you will get an update on there. And we've got the red banner at the top of the website, and we have the the little red banner actually as you're going through checkout. So that'll tell you exactly when we should be able to dispatch your order. Um, also, unfortunately, we're not able to do any add-ons. I know we've not really been doing add-ons at all, but one or two we have allowed to slip through the net, but we're just not gonna be able to do that with the volume of orders that we're coming, we've got coming in. We are constantly printing them off, taking them down to the warehouse, and it's just a really steady, steady flow. Um, but we just have too many orders. T to, to find an order to add to it, when you've got that many orders um, piled up, I'm, I'm afraid it's just not possible. Possible. So um, yes, we will be quite strict uh, about that from from right now. I do apologise. It's, it's something we really have liked being able to offer um, that that facility for people to add on to their orders, but we just can't really um, offer that at the moment. Um, yes, I have had a few people ask as well. Are we allowed to operate? I've had a look at the government guidance. To me. It does sound like, yes, you can operate. If you have a shop, um, you can operate from the shop, but you're not allowed to let people into the shop. So you can offer click and collect. People have to order online or over the phone or something. And then literally you would just leave their order. They might come to the shop, give you a call, say, I'm outside. You grab the order, put it outside and they pick it up. And I know a lot of people were doing that during the last lockdown. And yes, I think you can do that and deliveries as well. But please, please, please do your own due diligence. Please check, have a look at the government website. I know a few people have been asking trading standards. Um, just be aware that there are some trading standards, people that might not fully know um, the government guidance, but Yes, just, just do your own due diligence. And if you're happy to, to work, um, it looks to me like you are able to, to carry on as long as it's click and collect and delivery only and nobody goes inside your premises at all. Right, Brexit. We've got to talk a little bit about that. We are no longer part of the EU, but we still want to be friends with everybody there in Europe. Hello, everybody in, uh, in Europe. Um, there are, we've, we've come out now, there are there are trade deals, obviously, as you would have heard, um, but unfortunately, there's still an element of administration that has to be done for us to ship things out and for things to come in to us. So things might slow down a little bit. Please bear that in mind. We're still trying to get our systems to talk to our courier systems, DPD, Parcel Force. They're trying to get their systems up and running as well still. Um, so it's, it's, there's going to be a little bit of trial and error, I think. But hopefully in the next couple of weeks, everything should be, fingers crossed, back to, to as close to normal as we, we will get. Um, but yes, just please bear that in mind. If you are in Europe, you are placing an order with us, it might take us a, lot, a little bit longer to get that out the door. The shipping time should be pretty much the same, hopefully. Um, but it will, might take us a little bit longer to actually physically get it out the door, depending on what processes we've got to go through. We've been working on it for the last six months and you know we've done a lot of what needs to be done our end, but some of the systems for DPD and Parcel Force aren't quite really there where they need to be. So I say, hopefully that is going to be 
Okay, now Valentine's Day is obviously the, the big thing at the moment, but Mother's Day and Easter are just around the corner. We're already starting to see people buy quite a lot of Easter and Mother's Day stocks. So we don't have the new stock in yet, but if you want to see the designs that we have got coming, just go to balloonmarket.co.uk, click on new products and you can see all the new products that we've got in there. If they say zero, it just means we've not had them in yet. It doesn't mean we've run out of them. So if they're in the new product section, so have a look, you'll be able to see what designs you like. If there are some that you particularly love, then just click on the email me when available button and you will get an email as soon as they come into stock and are booked into our system. But yes, we should be getting those hopefully in the next couple of weeks. Right now, I want to talk about a few new products. It is literally just a few. Now, this is the Silhouette Cameo. This is not a new product. Um, this is uh, an existing product. We've had it for a while. I brought the pink one up. But the reason I've brought... Th those of you that are familiar with the Silhouette Cameo, a lot of people in our industry, they like to personalize balloons, and you can charge a considerable amount for that. Um, so it's very good at adding value to, to a design. And most people in our industry use uh, vinyl, and you put it in and it cuts it and it just means you can stick somebody's name or a message or whatever onto the balloon or whatever it is that you want to personalize. So very, very popular. We've got a wide range of vinyl and we have this, but I just wanted to show you the new cameo that we've got. It's big, isn't it? This is the Silhouette Cameo Pro. And I think this is really taking it to another level. And it does mean basically, instead of having a 12 inch print um, or cutting area uh, or width, you've got 24 inches, so it's double the size. Um, that of course means if you're wanting to do something big, um, instead of letters, say you want to write out a message, instead of letters being that size, they can be up to that size. And this is possibly, I mean, it's called the Pro, I guess, because it's about more for professionals. And I think this is possibly on the edge of people that actually do this and cut things out and do signage and stuff like that. So talking about what I was talking about earlier, um, where you might want to do something new, this might lead you into something new. So do the balloons. And then if somebody says, can you do a sign for me? Or can you do something for my car? Then you've got this. So it's... Um, yeah, a lot of possibilities there, but it's huge. I, I just couldn't believe when this came, we, we, we were struggling. We, we were really worried that we wouldn't be able to, to ship it out, but we do have a box that this actually fits into. It, we do send it by parcel force only because there's no box that fits in the DPD sizes. So that would be sent, whatever you order, that would be sent separately um, by parcel force. But yeah, it's, it's huge. And again, if you are thinking of making something different this year, this could be the way to go. Now it's, I'll just move that out of the way. A few other products. First of all, Bell Bal balloons. So these are the new Bell Bal Glossy. You can see we've got a couple of them uh, inflated here. These are the two foot ones. And we've got the 11 inch ones and we've got the five inch ones. I've not brought all colors in all sizes up, but you can see the colors we've got and the sizes that we've got. And that's a two foot one there as well. And I, think, I think they're great. You might not be familiar with Bell Bal. We have been using and selling Bell Bal balloons for 50, 16 years. Um, maybe not 16, maybe 15. Um, so yeah, very, they're really, really good, solid balloons. They're, they're just really, they're, we use them a lot for printing and they had shorter necks. I think they've actually extended the length of the neck now, um, but with the shorter necks, it made it higher, to, harder to, to tie. Um, but I think that they're great. The, the quality of them, they've always had an amazing float life. And we've got customers that just love Bell Bell balloons. So if you want to see the full range, just go to balloonmarket.co.uk, click on manufacturer and Bell Bell. Got a lot of printed ones as well, all sorts of really funky designs, uh, football designs and um, feathers and things like that. Really, really funky. But yes, yeah, so we've got these, these new ones. They're obviously similar to, to Reflex and Chrome, but the Bell Bell versions of that. And then over here from our friends in Italy, Grabo, 
We have air filled only foils. So these are air filled, these are, they don't have a valve in them. You do have to heat seal them. So we've got the four inch ones. Again, I've not got every color in every shape um, and size, but we've got the rounds, we've got the hearts, we've got the stars, and we've got these in those various colors. And these are the four inch ones, and these are the nine inch ones. We're seeing a lot of these kind of balloons move because I think of the big marquee designs that people are doing, um, and then just adding details. And these are the details. They're great because they cost pence, literally pence, and they add so much more value. So yeah, they're on the website. Again, just go to manufacturers and click on Grabo and you'll see the full range of Grabo balloons that we have. Right, the question of the week. I know a lot of you don't write anything on the question of the week and some of you do on a very regular basis so thank you to to everybody there but this week I'd really like you to to do it it just has to be a few words but I'd really really like you to do it not for me but for you and we've talked about goals write down a goal that you have this year I'm not going to come back and look at it to be honest next year I'm not going to look back and say okay who wrote something let's chase them up and see if they did it but it's more for you. So if you actually write it down as a comment, it's in your head, then you know it might help you achieve that goal. So please leave your comments down below on Facebook and on YouTube. That is it from me this week. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you've not subscribed, please hit subscribe and the little bell icon to make sure you get notified when we upload any new videos. Stay safe. See you next week. Thanks, bye.